Hello everyone! Manchester United kicked off a serious training session today in preparation for the crucial match with Fulham on Saturday. So we decided to bring you the latest injury updates and early team news ahead of this crucial game. Stick to the end so that you won't miss any update. Eric Ten Hag is still being forced to deal with having several Manchester United players on the sidelines through injury. Last Sunday, United claimed a 2-1 win over Luton Town in the Premier League. A first-half brace from Rasmus Hoyland saw Ten Hag and his players leave Kenilworth Road with all three points and close the gap on the top four places in the table. United now stand in sixth place in the league table, five points behind fourth-placed Aston Villa. This weekend, we'll see the Reds face Fulham at Old Trafford in the Premier League before travelling to face Nottingham Forest a few days later in the fifth round of the FA Cup. With several important matches ahead for United, Daily Football News has taken a look at the club's current injury list and when the Reds can expect the players to make a return to the matchday squad. Firstly, our right-back Aaron Wan-Bissaka has been sidelined for more than a month with an unspecified injury. The right-back last played for United in the 2-2 draw with Tottenham Hotspur on January 14. Ten Hag has stated that he expects Wan-Bissaka to return in a couple of weeks, but an exact return date has yet to be stated. Should that happen, then it's possible Wan-Bissaka could make a return in the Manchester Derby next month. Meanwhile, midfielder Mason Mount has struggled with injuries in his first season with United following his move from Chelsea last summer. The England international has been sidelined with a calf problem since November. Now time frame has been given for when United expect Mount to return to the matchday squad. His expected return date will be during the second week of the upcoming month of March. Our big left back Luke Shaw was substituted in the closing stages of the first half against Luton with what appeared to be an injury. The left back went straight down the tunnel after the substitution, but Ten Hag was unable to provide an exact diagnosis of the potential injury. Shaw has been a key figure in the United defence under Ten Hag and the Dutchman will hope to have the left back return to the matchday squad as soon as possible. Ten Hag will be expected to provide an update on Shaw's fitness when he speaks to the media later this week. Anthony Marshall is recovering from surgery on a groin injury last month. United expect the striker to be sidelined for around 10 weeks, which would see him return to the matchday squad sometime in April if everything goes to plan. Lastly, Tyrell Malaysia is yet to make an appearance for United this season. He has been recovering from a knee injury that he sustained towards the end of the previous campaign. Malaysia has been gradually building up his fitness ahead of a potential return to the matchday squad. However, the left-back has yet to recover enough to be considered an option for United and it remains to be seen when that will change. Do you feel confident that Manchester United will beat Fulham at Old Trafford on Saturday? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Manchester United news and updates. Thanks for watching.